Hey guys, hope I'm catching you all on a great day and welcome to another Q Money P bill video. Today we're going to be looking at the water bomb bill. And lately we've been getting a lot of requests for bills that didn't use consumption, that didn't use ailment, but still did a lot of damage. So in this bill, we definitely went ahead and accomplished that. So one of the things we're going to be doing is applying water ailments. We're also going to be using soul shatter. We're going to combine that in a unique way, that at least that I haven't saw yet. And we're also going to be turning enemies into basically water bombs, guys. And we're going to do open damage at the same time and by the way some of the fights in the background took a while that's because the bane i had was shielded guys and you already know how that is but anyway so the play style with this build we're going to be applying soul shatter build up and then soul shredding the enemy with our heavy attack you don't need to do it with the heavy attack but it's pretty fun and you can do it at a distance with the pole arm um by the way whenever we get to a higher level of course we won't be able to apply soul shatter as easily like when we get to level 28 to 30 or anything like that in a tower run but we have that covered i'll show you a few items we use to apply soul shatter to enemies on a higher level easier now i did discover a few different variations of this build but that's the main one we're going to use uh we're definitely going to need lion talisman so we get that weapon tech back and we could spam that over and over but also you can run any set of dual blades as a secondary so you could apply different stack amounts but we'll go ahead and get into that in a second okay so let's go ahead and look at the detail stats so you can see our resistances are capped out at 63 i was able to get them at 66 but we're comfortable at 63 that's plenty enough for us to survive also we're gonna want some crit chance on this build guys definitely gonna focus on crit chance as much as possible I'm gonna try to make this short so I'll go a little bit quicker than usual and explain the main parts of the build and just go through the other items so of course the main thing we're gonna be using is the pole arm the winter's call and the primary there reads whenever you soul shatter an enemy unleash a shockwave that deals 4768 water damage to enemies in front of you and reveals their weak point so as I mentioned in the beginning guys this is gonna be the play style we're gonna be using this so we're gonna soul shatter enemies when they're surrounded by other enemies basically turning them into a water bomb and inflicting the water ailment on the other enemies or killing them in most cases we definitely going to want to stack up our water damage on other items as much as possible so we can increase that damage as much as possible and for our secondary weapon we're going to be using the leap really could switch this out for something like the oceana or any weapon that does heavy water damage as a perk but with this one you know since it's dual blades we could apply those stacks easier so of course whenever we hit uh the when we're in our northern tech we'll release a shock wave that release water damage so that is helpful we also be applying multiple stacks of water ailment on enemies so we can soul shatter them easier as for secondaries on both our weapons you want to focus on crit chance first after that you want water damage or damage to chill enemies and ailment power if you can't find any of those and for the amulet we use an amulet of the betrayer really you can switch that out really we just want those secondaries with number one is crit chance also you want their resistance to all or cap to all resistances there if possible as for the charm we're using the mithra star but really want that lion talisman as i mentioned we really just ran with this one so you get that crit hit chance and that cap to all resistances now as for the shirt and story this is an important part of the build so this is how we're going to apply soul shatter build up when we get to those higher parts of the ascended tower so we're going to apply four stacks of ailments four water ailment stacks then after that we'll be able to easily apply soul shatter and then go ahead and hit them with that southern technique or heavy attack now since this is a might item we want to apply soul shatter build up definitely if possible also water damage damage to chill enemies everything you see here except weapon tech. now of course we're going to use that eye of the dragon plague pendant and entropic moon drop so now let's go ahead and take a look at the augments our first vitality is presence of mind then we're going to run glamour then rift and last is fortitude now for our secondaries on our vitalities we want to focus on survivability of course so you're going to want resistance to all as much as possible unless you see yourself going overboard and you're already capped out and you definitely want that overheld gain on two items guys at least two or one if you have over health gain already on the vitality items on the front part of the bill as long as it's balanced out to three in total you should be fine now for our spirit augments we're going to be using enchanted tear miss veil and dauntless is optional and as for the secondaries on our spirit you definitely want water damage number one priority after that you can get damage to chilled enemies or ailment power if you can't find that you might want to throw vitality on miss veil if it's adjacent to the presence of mind now for the might augments we're going to run paradise and focus since we have a lot of crit chance that's going to help us out in both of those areas with weapon tech and overhill our secondaries on our might is going to definitely be water damage if possible other options could be ailment power things like that but definitely water damage as much as you can guys now for the skill tree the skill tree we definitely want soul shatter at least to level four so you can get as much soul shatter as possible from the skill tree also if you choose to swap out the amulet we're running for the heart song amulet you could fill up something like rampage but definitely you want crit hit chance in there as well guys and that is the water bomb build guys so just 
just to go over some of the other variations I was mentioning earlier, you could switch out our Mithra Star with the Fate Brown Spearhead. And since we have a lot of water damage and we'll get our overhealth up, you could throw that in there. And you could also switch those daggers out. If you have the old hammer with the dual perks that you get overhealth and it doesn't degenerate. But I digress, guys. Definitely hope you guys enjoyed the build. As always, go ahead and shoot a comment with some changes you might have in mind. If you do try it out, go ahead and let me know how it runs. Uh, if you have any ideas for other build guys, go ahead and throw some comments in there. If you did enjoy the content and found it useful, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you know when new videos drop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.